What up guys, what up sexy ladies, good to see you again, Dimitri here and today we're going to be doing some first impressions of a brand called Profumum Roma. Now, these guys have been doing scents for 30 years or more, yet I haven't tried anything from their line and the reason is mainly because they do not believe in samples they do not produce samples so their perfumes are really hard to come by unless you go to the store and try them and their philosophy is that you can only try two perfumes per session and give them a full wearing and then come back and retry them again if you want and so that kind of put me off but i managed to find a website uh, from germany i believe maybe holland that actually decants them so i have six of the most well-known fragrances from this line and guys there's some feminine leaning i tried to read the reviews i tried to read the note breakdown so i have some feminine leaning ones some masculine ones some unisex ones uh i'm so let's start off man i'm excited i always am looking for the next gem within the millions of scents that come out every single year <laughs> it's crazy so yeah, I'm going to filter out everything that is worth checking for you guys. So let us start with a fragrance called Patchouli. Now this is self-explanatory. So Patchouli can go in many directions. It can go earthy, it can go dirty, it can go ambery, it can go green. So I'm not really sure what to expect. The color of the juice is quite dark. So it's going to be quite ambery probably and it is not bad what not bad at all this is sexy Woo, ladies check me out this is a sexy ambery slightly resinous type of patchouli forward fragrance and this you can tell that it has the typical accord of amber which is usually made up of vanilla labdanum and benzoin and you can definitely smell the leatheriness from that labdanum whoa this has a strong personality it reminds me of psychedelic which is one of my favorite patchouli fragrances of all times it is less powerful more earthy i would say less vanillic it's dirty without being uh, obnoxious this is very wearable nighttime sexy the first blast is really nice slightly green dusty man this is a good amber it kind of reminds me i don't know if you know it guys of akkad akkad is one of the best amber based fragrances in existence it's from the house of lubin uh, lubin is a very famous and old uh, french house that has resurrected and has created many amazing scents i will talk about them in the future it reminds me of something in between akkad uh, and and psychedelic it's somewhere in between not bad at all i would definitely have to check it on my skin typically guys uh, from what i read these perfumes perform quite well so longevity should not be a problem the smell per se from the first impression was good good stuff all right let's proceed to the next one so next i have a perfume called sorriso Sorriso means smile in Italian and yeah, I can expect a sexy scent and with a name like this it's probably feminine leaning let's see what's up definitely feminine it has okay this is very floral this is quite lotion like so it reminds me of I don't know if you all know the brand Hawaii. They make some of the most amazing uh, protective creams um, in existence. But Hawaii, uh, you, you get a bottle for $7. It's really, really cheap. And so this, this is not the kind of smell that I would expect from a $250 bottle. It's on the synthetic side it smells pleasant it's good i'm not gonna say it smells bad it's just it it's not as sophisticated as i would like it to be 
I can see why it's called Sorriso because it actually is a happy scent, a sun tan lotion type of scent with a mix of florals, probably jasmine, some tuberose might be in there, some tiare, which is a flower that is very, very creamy, very typical of that sun tan lotion uh, materials. Slightly musky. It's okay, but honestly, okay, patchouli, 10 times better than this. But still something you might want to try if you're into the Santan lotion type of thing, you know. Not for me, definitely. Super feminine, for sure. So next I have a, I have a perfume called Battito Dali. So this means uh, wing flaps. Yep, yep, that's the best translation I could give you. So, yeah, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is clean. This is nice, clean, kind of soapy, reminiscent of a musk based soap. So again, not something too unique, but pleasant. I definitely prefer this more than Sorriso. You know what it reminds me of, guys? What is this? This is, uh, I, I don't know if you all have the brand Dove. When you go to the supermarket, the main brand that sells soaps uh, in Italy, in Rome, more specifically, is called Dove. So. I use it a lot and this is really reminiscent of that musky white soap, very clean. This one obviously has a little bit more nuances. There's some white flowers in there, I believe. It smells good, definitely smells good, but it, it, it's not as sophisticated as I would like it to be. I can't really say I don't like it because I do like it. It's just not that special. But obviously this is just the first blast. You know how first impressions uh, work. The, you know how the drill is. You enjoy something and then you might end up not really liking it and vice versa. So this might end up smelling great at the heart. Don't really know. But the first blast is pleasant, almost I would say generic type of soapy smell. Nothing too special. So that was Battito Dali. Next, I have a perfume called Aqua Viva. So uh, this literally translates into the lively water. Aqua means water, obviously. Viva means alive. So yeah, lively water. So what's up? Yeah, that should be enough. By the way, guys, I, I believe all of these have great performances, so Wow, nice, zesty, tart, lemon peel, come to papa. This is very, very zesty, very zesty, very well done. And it, it is really hard for um, the zesty type of perfumes, the citrus based scents to not fall into the uh, dishwashing type of smell, you know, and this does not, this really is a very um, photorealistic smell that literally reminds me of me grating some lemon zest while cooking. Honestly, well done. They probably used some, some high quality oils. And usually, guys, uh, citrus based oils are very restricted, so this might very well be a synthetic one but it's very well done. It kind of reminds me, uh, I don't know if you tried Jardin d'Amalfi from the house of Creed. There's th uh, that tartness from the top note that is the same one that I'm getting here. Only this one is more zesty. Uh, Jardin d'Amalfi is a bit more floral. This is more citrus and that one is more orange. There's some muskiness coming up. I would be curious to know how this evolves, if it stays interesting. But the first blast is that of a very natural smelling Eau de Cologne type of a cord 
that I'm really enjoying. Nice. Okay, so Aquaviva, it, it is really a lively and, and, and uh, 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 uplifting water, you know, if you know what I mean? Good stuff. So far, Aquaviva and Patchouli, of course, is the best one, are the best ones. This is Arso. Now, Arso means burnt in Italian. Oh man, the whole thing just ripped off. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, man, what happened? I almost lost all the liquid, by the way. Okay. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells good up top. Nice. Oh man, these are all strong. Nice. Okay, this is my type of woody scent. Probably not for everybody. It is very dusty. If you like pencil shaving type of the type of smell, you know, this is right up your alley. It's a burst of a rich uh, sawdust type of woody perfume. Nice, slightly burnt. There's a bit of smokiness. Not sure if there's any incense in here, but I, I get like a freshly cut wood type of a cord. This is probably cedar, by the way. I don't remember the notes of any of these guys. You can check them out on Fragrantica. But this, guys, this, pff, I'm spraying it on my skin. What the heck is this, man? What is this? Is it the right one? Whoa. Arso. Man, I'm looking for my ultimate cedar based scent. This could be it, guys. This honestly could be it. Nice. And you know what? The thing with uh, woody scents is that they smell great usually, but they kind of become dull and uninteresting during the latest phases of their lives. At the heart, at the base, it's hard to keep a woody fragrance interesting. So I'm really hoping that this evolves the right way, it takes the right path towards greatness because the beginning the first blast rich dusty woody sawdust slightly pencil shaving uh incense type of smell really like it almost reminds me of a fire nice guys nice okay arso along with patchouli are the best ones followed by by aquaviva but you know as i said before you never you can never tell what will happen later. Last but not least, Ambra Aurea. So this is their, I think one of their best sellers. Amber based fragrance and uh, yeah, my benchmark when it comes to amber based fragrances is Ambre Précieux. You have Acad, Au Cœur du Désert Marocain, Ciel de Goum. Uh, those are four of the best ones. So let's see if this can be up there with uh, Olympus. Mm. Ooh, sex, man. Woo! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Dirt, dirty lab denim come to me. <laughs> what? Mmm, okay. This is good, guys. This is a really solid amber based fragrance. Has that uh, rich, thick uh, type of a cord that is known to make up high quality amber based fragrances. Man, this is sophisticated stuff. This is good. Oh man. This is another one that I would love to put on my skin, but I'm just gonna concentrate on Arso. Arso, Arso. But really, this is a great amber beige fragrance, guys. There's, it's almost as if I could touch it. I mean, it, it is really thick. Nice stuff, guys. So far, I'm enjoying pretty much almost uh, all the samples that I've tried. 
Which ones do you enjoy? Do you know this house, guys? Honestly, I think I should have gotten into it a bit earlier, but you know how, it, how they say, it. better late than never. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay well, be safe, stay sexy. Take it easy, everybody. Ciao.